Good morning, good day, good afternoon. My name is Alexander Morose, and today I will introduce you to a cool button designer software and we will discuss how to make a circle glossy button uh, without a Photoshop, without any other tools and only with a cool button designer. Cool button designer uh, was developed by Alexander Morose by me and I'm the lead developer for that program so I'm a graphic designer a professional photographer and a programmer at the same time and I use my skills in that software uh, that um, I think uh, came up with a good um, application for uh, uh, webmasters and web developers or just for programmers that are trying to make a graphic user interface. All right, as you can see, Cool Button Designer has two, three different uh, styles. But today we're gonna go with our style Button Designer, and it has two different um, styles. And I'm gonna go with our style Borderless. All right. Also, you can see the Cool Button Designer has a nice. Um, graphic user interface that kind of have a cl uh, give you a clue what to do next so we're gonna click that it's gonna create a little button that we're gonna work with but it's not a circle so what we're gonna do we can resize the button or we can type the right size um, at the beginning well we just create it or we can resize it anytime we want but it's still not the circle but at least we got the same width and height so now uh, we're gonna go to button shape and we can have uh, two options we can uh, corner sharpening and sharp uh, just go ahead and soft uh, our corners make them not so sharp and in the end, if we're gonna scroll it till the uh, end, it's going to be a circle. Or we can go ahead and um, click browse and select a circle type um, template, and it's gonna give us a circle. One way or the other is fine. All right. So uh, we can also. Um, select right now it's to the basic button but we can also select the bevel button which is gonna give us a little bit of the border uh, engraved and uh, engraved and beveled together alright so I'm gonna go ahead and select engraved and beveled together we can also smooth the button just a little bit smooth the edges on the button and I'm gonna keep it at the second alright the next visual render visual render for the glossy uh, arrow mode um, represents some sort of like a, a control over the glare glassiness so I'm just gonna have a look which one is the best I think this one will will do or this one right here will do for us and I can also do the glassiness smoothness as well as you can see five levels I'm gonna keep it one next what I'm gonna do next I kinda don't like that default color and I'm gonna switch it to a gray uh, maybe not gray but white and uh, maybe gray yeah let's switch it to gray and over here I'm gonna Go ahead and try to do some blue uh, to custom just in case so I can and let's say let's do white I don't like the gray and I don't like that blue so I'm gonna click on that custom color define custom colors and I'm gonna just kinda bring to different shading over here not so bright alright and also I uh, would like to switch this to white let's say the highlight like that alright and then I would like to bring some light 
there is ability to bring some light and control it all the way around control the width and height and the position so as you can see you can be so creative and do exactly the way you want it some, some sort of circle and not so big maybe like that alright and uh, I can control the color as well if I want it but I'm gonna keep my color white alright and maybe a little bit and width like that and now I can also if I if I select to have um, beveled engraved button or engraved bevel button I can um, use the textures for the borders around our button and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna select some sort of like a chromish texture that I created or you can use any other textures that you like and you can control the way light approach to that texture make it lighter or darker let me go ahead and switch the color of the background so you can see our button better and I can go outside uh, filled all the button or inside but inside doesn't work for the arrow mode it only work for the classic alright I can also play with the border and I would like to keep it I would say something like that alright let me go ahead and add the link to my website since it's going to be a web button so it's gonna create the normal um, mouse over and press uh, states for me and the link in my HTML code where it's supposed to go at this point it's going to go to MRZ Media website that is going to sell this program cool button designer its official site for it and it's already selling it for $14.99 and the new version is over here but I made a discount $9.99 so it's over about 35 percent saving so go ahead and get it now alright it's absolutely clean as you can see all those websites check this software it's clean no spyware's and I guarantee you this software is not gonna hurt your computer at all it's not gonna bring you viruses spyware trojans it's not gonna bring you all of this it's I give you my word alright so you can watch some other tutorials over this website alright let's go ahead and move to the button and now I'm gonna just add the text and I'm done let's say I'm gonna say um, um, what I'm gonna say I'm gonna say push me and uh, select nice bold and click set alright and I can apply the shadows beveled effect engrave and control the multipliers of those effects as well over here as you can see I can control it as well as shadows I can control the way the shadows you can see alright and I can control the buttons let's say I want a white over here and one mouse over I want a yellow and when we click I want a gray so when we're pushing it's going to go gray alright and I can control also the text transparency if I want it the way I want it alright well thank you so much for watching as you can see you don't need to have a a bachelor uh, uh, graphic designer diploma or bachelor media diploma all what you need to have just cool button designer and you can start creating your own buttons and let me show you how easy to export the button for the web server or for the, your favorite graphic editor for the more retouch I'm gonna go file save button graphics and you can save all the states and generate the HTML code 
save them all it's going to print you the HTML code you can uh, by clicking copy code you can copy it and paste it into your HTML document and upload those three images on the web server and you're done or you can go ahead and uh, export the button to the clipboard and do more retouch in the Photoshop or any other graphic editor to uh, um, uh, editors graphic editors you can see I can do mouse over copy to clipboard and let's say I would like to import it into paintbrush here we go I got it well thank you so much for watching my name is Alexander Morose I'm the lead developer for the cool button designer God bless me God bless you God bless bless United States good luck with everything you do peace